Howdy, 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 my darling Aries. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading for June, Aries. All right. So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, be sure to give this tarot video a like and subscribe and check out your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign, Aries, because that is how you get an accurate message for yourself is by getting the full spectrum of what's going on in your chart in specific, darling. All right. So enough of the tatting, darling. Let's take a look at what it is that y'all are currently dealing with here, Aries. All right. You have here the King of Wands, Queen, uh, Six of Pentacles, as well as the Queen of Swords coming in here for you. <sighs> All right, Aries, I want to be firstly telling you right now where it's like you are going to be noticing people being threatened by your greatness. It's like I see this message or situation for you, Aries, is like as you continue going on this week uh, in your greatness and just following in your passion, following with what personally resonates with you and not paying attention to what uh how it affects other people you're going to be bringing forth people uh triggering people essentially here so what i want to first just give you the heads up about all right to make sure that you have your proper protections in place make sure that you don't engage with people as well as that queen of swords the queen of swords sees situations for what they are and they're not afraid of cutting those situations out all right when i see this you know this lets me know that it might be people in your close circle that are being triggered by you uh going in your greatness all right some people might be around you that are just used to you aries playing it small and uh so they feel personally threatened by seeing you in your greatness and then it just shows where they are personally lacking all right so at this point in time i would be saying you know keep whatever success is but keep whatever it is that your mission in life your mission and what it is that you want to accomplish here aries keep it to yourself all right i feel like you might be attracting people trying to do some type of evil eye on you here all right as the king of wands though naturally the king of wands is the one that is kind of just it just comes with the territory right where you acknowledge that it's just like the more that you shine you're going to just have a bunch of people that try to say how you don't deserve it how you know you know just listing a bunch of excuses of why they think you don't deserve it even though they are not the ones that are seeing these struggles that you go through to get to your destination they're not the ones that see all the blood sweat and tears that it took you up until this point to get to where you are at right no one knows your journey better than you do here aries all right and so you need to remember that uh don't be looking for outside validation for that journey here all right because i see for you it's like you've been investing a lot all right it's almost this sense of where like you had a vision for something and you knew that it may be a long-term goal for you where it's like it's gonna for a while feel like a fruitless thing for you where it's just like you sink a bunch of energy into this pr prospect and you don't get that immediate payout the reason why these energies are being triggered around you Aries is because you're going to start receiving those payouts in the coming days here all right and so this is really rewarding my Aries that have been really keeping faith keeping strong with what it is that they've been wanting to accomplish in life here all right I really see you in your power let's clarify this all you have the ten of wands the lover's energy as well as the knight of pentacles coming in here and then in the back of the deck, we have the five of wands here. So definitely you're going to be dealing with people projecting their own personal baggage onto you. You know what this makes me think about, Aries? This makes me think about how it's like you win the lottery and then every all the naysayers, everyone that never believed in you or whatever, family comes out from the woodwork, Sterling, right? You end up finding out you have cousins that you never even knew about, right? And I see for you, it's like you win that lottery and then you start getting these messages at the world from people being like asking for that handout be like oh aries like i never forgot about you like i always had faith i always knew you were going to do something with your life very much so in that way here uh aries and i just see this sense where you are not going to be able to rationally talk to them here i feel like they're just going to be trying to uh overload you with all their baggage here and it's almost as if they expect you to treat their baggage as the priority it's almost like this sense of being like from their point of view it's like very much so victim mindset it's just like oh woe is me poor me like what about me right rather than actually truly just being happy for you aries you're just going to be dealing with people that are going to pretend to be happy for you but more so happy with the idea of what you could be providing to them aries all right i'm being very blunt right now feel as if you're going to be really seeing people's true colors here all right 
I do get this message as well when it comes to this lover's energy as well as this knight of pentacles coming in here. All right. I get this message for you uh, here, Aries, where a little bit of a separate message, but have patience when it comes to somebody here, Aries. All right. I feel as if like for you, you have so much goodness going on. And then it's like I'm being shown like this notification that like just pops up in your head of being like, oh, I still need to address this. I still need to handle my business with this situation here. I feel like the best course of action for you at this current point in time, Aries, is just to be focusing on just yourself currently. They're going to come around, all right? They're going to definitely come around, but you taking action, you trying to do anything about that uh, situation when it comes to this energy, it's not going to fast pace that energy anymore, all right? They are very much so exuding this Knight of Pentacles energy, which is the slowest moving knight out of all the knights, all right? It gets to its destination, but it, it does take a while, Aries, to get there, all right? So definitely keep that in mind here, all right, darling? So... Uh, let's continue on here for you, Aries. What can you be expecting in the coming days? Mm -mm. You already have one card that fell out here, Aries. Mm -mm. So you guys, Aries, have the three as well as the King of Cups coming in here, as well as the King, uh, the Moon energy coming in here. Lots of water energy uh, stepping forward to you here, Aries. All right. <sighs> Could be dealing with the Pisces here. All right. Uh, on the day of me recording this, this is June 8th, which is the final day of the days that are associated with the Three of Cups, all right? So if you are receiving this message today, Aries, I want to be suggesting to you to start manifesting some type of public event happening, all right? This is a time, you know, the Three of Cups represents celebration of big events. So you, if you put energy in today to manifest these events that feed into that same thing that you've been trying to uh, that we were tapping into prior Aries I feel like you're going to be invited to some big event being invited to um, something exclusive here uh, Aries all right what I get for you guys at this current point in time is where you got to Aries put your emotion like you <laughs> this is coming from someone who's very emotional all right Aries but I feel like you guys need to suppress your emotions a little bit right now and just be about the business all right whether that business is actually a business or just when I say be about business I just mean focusing in on what it is that you're wanting to accomplish here all right be more so <sighs> rely more so on your intuition right when you think about that pisces energy they're very intuitive they lead with their heart here right in the sense of like i guess not heart's not the what i want to be saying because that implies the emotion again here but it's the sense of where you're very intuitive at this time and you don't want this to be corrupted by outside noises here you don't want this to be corrupted by your own personal anxiety as well aries where you might be distressing about the unknown uh and just whatever that case may be for you here all right i feel like i need to tell you this message aries where it's like you are ready you're ready to get into this next chapter of your life here you're ready for all the attention that's coming your way here aries all right that's something i really want to let you know about but um, just don't allow anyone to rain on your parade at this point in time, all right? Keep focused on your goals. Keep focused on your intuition and trust in the, you know, have more faith in uh, who, like your thought process, your intuition here, uh, because your spiritual team is actively trying to guide you, all right? And again, I get this sense for you, Aries, where it's like the outside noise, the outside distractions that happen, this week for you it's in hopes from their point of view to just dissuade you or to instill this sense of doubt in you instill this sense of insecurity perhaps instill this sense of where you uh feel like you're not deserving of this all right and the message again that i want to just be really drilling into you here aries is that you do absolutely deserve the good things that are happening and that are coming for you all right i'm being shown the wheel of fortune mentally right now so this lets me know just like y'all have been just going through it aries y'all have been just <laughs> it's been a while since you received some flowers right it's been a while since you've been able to just appreciate blessings in your life you've probably have felt as if you've just been having dealing with a uh, lesson after lesson after lesson perhaps here aries all right and so uh naturally uh you might just feel as if you're being punished by the universe what have you here all right 
but you are worthy of good things all right and just because good things are going to be happening for you don't feel as if you're waiting for a ball to drop all right don't make the mistake in creating the self-fulfilling prophecy of where you convince yourself being like all right like all this good stuff cannot be happening to me something negative has to be uh occurring soon after all right aries so very specific message just know that you are worthy you are talented enough you are meant for this here at aries all right because page of cups following through with this cups energy cups representing opportunities and relationships and as well as the sun card the best card in the tarot deck here what you don't see coming towards you right now aries is just very life-changing results you're about to be finally receiving your flowers aries after such a long time of hard work after long commitment after a journey of where no one was really celebrating you other than you where you've had to probably just put all of your energy into just keeping your head above water keeping the faith keeping the vision of what it is that you're wanting to accomplish all things will be revealed in due time for you aries all right so even if you're not seeing the manifestations that we tapped into right now in this reading here today aries just know that the sun is going to bring a light to that moon energy all right things are going to be revealed to you during the appropriate times just because you cannot see sight of it yet remember that it's not your job to see the what's coming towards you your job is just to be making sure that you are ready for when it happens because uh aries like you've been working on this for quite some time here all right you're worthy of this you are talented enough for this just because other people are triggered aries by your success doesn't mean that you are doing something wrong or that you're not worthy of it just remember that darling but that's the weekly tarot reading that i have for you for june aries hopefully you found some tarot cards that did resonate with you if you did let me know in the comments below as well as give this video a like and subscribe aries because it does help me out a lot remember darling if you do want to book a private reading with me my website's linked down below simply velka Dot com next to my social medias tiktok and instagram both just being simply velka same as here darling all right so i love you so much aries and i hope i can connect with you sometime in the near future bye darling